the first one if you're taking notes is the Holy Spirit is with us before salvation like Mordecai who took Esther in when she was an orphan when she was a captive Holy Spirit does not leave people who are orphans or people who are maybe slaves to their sin nobody comes to Jesus without the help of the Holy Spirit when a person is doing sin when a person is away from God when a person is set their mind on doing whatever they want to do and God is on the last thing if he's even there the Holy Spirit does not leave those people out of his reach the first time we see Holy Spirit mentioned in the Bible is the Bible says the earth was without void the earth was full of darkness there was no form it was a chaos but the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters which tells us when your life is a mess when your life is in darkness and it may seem like I want to do nothing with God the Holy Spirit is there using any opportunity he can find to draw you closer to Jesus sometimes he will use the pain that you're going through to point you to the fact that you need something bigger and greater in your life than yourself sometimes in the loneliness of the night or the no loneliness at the end of the day when everything seems fine but you are lonely inside and you're so lonely that you feel like I need to be put into the kitchen cabinet because I am as empty as the glass is there and that's when the Holy Spirit will come and begin to tug on your heart and say remember the grandma's prayers remember when you used to go to church and he will begin to remi remind you of the book that you have that you only wipe the dust once in a while and that's where the Holy Spirit is at so he doesn't leave people even people who don't know God even people who are completely against God Holy Spirit is with us when we don't know Jesus if he wouldn't be with us we would never find Jesus he is with us and when we feel dirty when we feel guilty when we feel rejected or maybe like orphans when we feel like people have done things against us when our parents maybe have have not been there or maybe somebody we put our trust in has betrayed and violated that trust and we feel like the world crumbled against us and like Esther we feel like we are captives to something we cannot break in and we are screaming in our soul for help Holy Spirit is there is not far his main goal is not just to make your life better but to bring you to a palace bring you to Jesus Can somebody say amen. amen if it wouldn't be the Holy Spirit we would never be able to receive Jesus as our Savior that's why we become Christians not because we get debated into it we don't become Christians because we have arguments and we lose an argument so we become a Christian I mean how many people have debated and lost an argument and became a Christian zero that's why God doesn't anoint us to win debates he anoints us to win souls we become a Christian because Holy Spirit moves and touches our life uses the circumstances in our life coordinates to make a meeting with the King of all Kings and then we go from being an orphan to being a queen to being a daughter and a son of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and then instead of living in a shack living in our past we begin to live in the palace we begin to live in Christ and our identity is no longer connected to our past it begins to be connected to Jesus Christ